Welcome back, everybody, to Getting Work with your boy, Jared. Back here with my boy, Ian. We're hanging out here, and we're talking about my man's favorite team in the NBA. One Chicago Bulls. <laughs> I'm going to let you take it over, uh, brother. <laughs> oh, man, my team, my team. This is... This is a... It's been a tough year so far. We didn't get off to the fast start that I was hoping for. But then again, we did get off to a fast start last year and it crumbled completely after January. So we are, let's see, let, let me pull up just to make sure. First off, let me start with the with the positive news. We beat the Celtics again last night. That yes, you did. That yes, you was, did. That uh, was a lot of fun. The Celtics, for some reason, the Bulls match up extremely well with and somewhere i know at some point somebody's gonna pull this back the bulls are gonna play the celtics somehow in the playoffs and you know get swept or something crazy and somebody's gonna pull it up oh see they don't match up they match up really well with the celtics celtics don't want any part of chicago now with that said that's the the fan briefly talking we have we have problems there are I know it's a little early to do the airing of the grievances, but as a Bulls fan, we have some grievances that need to be aired. Uh, the, the, the team, they're just, dysfunctional is the wrong word, because that sounds so much more grave than it is. They're seven and 10 right now. They, they win games that they were losing last year. So last year, the big, the big story was how many times that they how much they lost to all of the, any team with an over 500 record, any of the contending teams. Last year, they beat up on all the bad teams and couldn't get any of the good teams, get a win versus them. Weirdly enough, they've actually been really competitive against the good teams, especially in the East so far. That hasn't been the issue. It's been all the other teams. They've lost to, they lost to Washington, man. I, I know that, Jarrett was a fan of the team, you know, Washington, when he was here in Virginia. Back in the day, they lost, and they still yeah, sucked. Way back when it was the Bullets, when it was the Bullets, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. We, so, we, had, mean, we, they, had, we had we had we had a trailing Bernard King. <laughs> See, he went way back. He for went a minute. King. I was, I, for yeah, a yeah. minute. And then we had, like, Googs. And then we had, like, some, like, Maybe Not potential hope Miata. with Agent Zero, and then he pulled a gun out in the. He, he didn't yeah. shoot anybody, he but he, he pulled like a gun out in the my locker story room. That my story is, is more interesting. That sounds more like an old school NWA wrestling story than like an NBA story. But that's like yeah. really like that's we, we've. That's yeah. all we had. Like, we've lost to the Pelicans. I think we've lost to the Pelicans twice, if I'm not mistaken. And and in blowout fashion. It's not just losing. It's not losing to because any team, any night, especially in the NBA regular season, eh, that's, that can happen. They get blown out just randomly against teams that they just flat out shouldn't get blown out against. They're, they're very good. They lost to them. This is sum it up. The Bulls have handled the Celtics a couple of times already this season. They lost one time to them, but even that game was competitive. The other two games, the Bulls pretty much controlled the entire game. So it wasn't even, it wasn't even as close as the score may indicate. And the score wasn't really that close. Like the Bulls won by 14 last night. So, or I four last now, I guess at this point, but um, so the Celtics it's, it's not that the Bulls and, you know, they're able to beat the Celtics. They're able to beat certain teams, some of the better teams. It's just they're up and they're down. Zach Levine, two games ago against the Orlando Magic, was benched. So Billy Donovan, Zach was in the midst of a one for 14 performance. He's coming off that big contract over the summer. He's got the, you know, the weight of the big contract kind of looming on his head now. He's gotten it. He's signed. I'm talking as a fan right now. Everyone's waiting for him to earn it now. Right. I don't think right. that's I don't think that's exactly fair. I always think that's a little 
a little a little silly from even as a fan i always find that a little bit silly if someone offers me millions upon millions of dollars to sit here on youtube perhaps and talk i'm gonna take it <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna take it quickly uh very quickly and if i'm worth it or not worth it, like that that kind of goes into something else but i'm taking the money that somebody's giving me so you are worth whatever the money is that somebody's handing you and especially unlike probably i would argue most youtubers you're also playing in a sport where the potential of you having a career ending injury tomorrow is a reality that you Anytime. deal with every single day Daily. Absolutely. And every so, time you go to the gym, every practice, forget games. As in, you know, Alan practice? Not the game. Talking not, about not the game. Practice? Not a game. I need to get that practice. as a clip. I got it. I got to get did. that as like, do. I don't know we why. Do. Why don't I have that as a clip? I'm sleeping. I'm sorry. Okay. So, <laughs> so, Anyhow, but so, go ahead. Go ahead. This is all coming off of the, so not two games ago. Okay. The Bulls lose to the Orlando Magic and they're not any better than they've been. They're a bad team they're they're young they could get better but they're not there yet the bulls lost to that team and in fact not only did they lose they were getting blown out most of that game At the end of the game they were able to make it make you know make the big comeback and so they ended up losing by one quite frankly they still could have won the game if Fuchs had hit a free throw things like that at the end of the game kind of but they were down 15 to 20 points most of that game and weirdly enough had it not been for javante green coming off the bench and providing some energy to that team they were dead in the water they were just going through the motions and that has seemed to be the problem with the team except for games that they're playing one of the one of the better teams out there which i kind of place a little bit of that blame on coaching that they're the easy the, that's always the easy one right you, you want to dump that all oh it's the coaches coaches aren't doing what they're supposed to be i want to put some of that on billy donovan billy donovan has been he's one of those he's so chill he's so quiet and we talked about this a little bit in our one of our last streams as well go check it out uh where they have a lot of nice guys billy donovan's a nice guy zach levine's a nice guy you know, DeMar DeRozan's a nice guy. Vucevic is a nice guy. Kobe, Pat Will. Yeah. They're all nice people. Like, they're, yeah. they're, 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 they're one of those, they're, they're good. They seem like those are the people that where's you want. my Where's my Marcus Smart? Where's yeah, my, where's my Draymond Green? You don't um, have that. Where's, where's my, where's my Pat Bev? Right? Yeah. There's Where's... no agitator. There, yeah. There's no ag yeah. the closest. The closest agitator might be Andre Drummond. Might be Alex. Car Even Alex Caruso, he can be an agitator just because he's so aggressive and he's playing so hard all the time. Right. But he's a nice guy too. Yeah, he's a nice you guy, but I mean? he's he's a, he has at least aggressive. Drummond, I would say, yeah, he definitely has that in them, but he's also he's a in a position in his career where it would behoove him to not make waves. He could be he could be a enforcer than an agitator. Right. And, and he could be maybe a bit of a seems like back. the same thing, but it's not. Yeah. But also I think maybe is if if he gets if he gets if he's able to get maybe like another year there with them. I don't know what his contract is, but I'm also just thinking about like just the age and just his, his overall career and everything. And, you know, whether they move him or not, if, if he's able sure. to get like a solid, like kind of anchor there, he could be maybe kind of more of that locker room kind of but you still, role, but you need it on I the floor. In, I think he's, you see the importance of him just from a, on the court and probably behind the scenes as well. This is they right, are right. a tougher group than they used to be. Like last year, last year. Oh, he were, made them. He his, made that front team, court. But, his presence makes yeah. that front court at least potentially 
stronger because again so they're not gonna get shoved around nearly as much so last year we had vooch so vooch was right. the center and everyone after that was about six three so <laughs> yeah because pat like, will wasn't on the floor I, you know yeah P. yeah will was hurt p will was hurt uh and so javante green was the starting power forward he's all of six three now he's an energy guy you never have to question his toughness he never have to question his energy he will show up night in night out and play hard he may be hurting you still because he can't hit a shot but he's playing hard he this he's grew. providing he's diving on the loose balls he's loose you know he's diving out of bounds he's jumping on the first guy he's right running the court hard you know if you get a rebound defensive rebound he's the first guy up the court he's doing all of those things yeah so, which is an extremely important He's first of all, first of all, first of all, because again, right now, I'm ho I'm holding ESPN to their statements around heights and weights. He ain't six five. <laughs> Are you sure? He's not six five. He's he's not six five. How, but how do you know? He, I see him standing next to people. He is not six five. I mean, I hope he's six five. I hope he grew. Well, again, but but I, mean, I need, I need, I, I guess I'm 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 working off a number in front of me, and I need, I need, I believe I need, you. You know, you know I how I it. play. You know how you know how I. I, do. I, I need, do. I need, I need hard evidence in front of me. Also, yeah, shout you. out, shout out the fact that he went to Radford. Exactly. Yes. Um. Another Virginia. Boy any, any kind of any kind of any anybody playing out of Virginia. Like UVA, Virginia Tech, even though Virginia Tech could suck it. Um, oh, I was definitely gonna. Um, I was definitely gonna bring that. I was definitely gonna bring it up. I was like, I'm, I'm not knocking Javante. I love Javante. No. Like as a Bulls but, fan. But also, I'm, I'm also. But see, I, I, I also, I also bring uh, bring these things up because I want ESPN to be holding to their own corporate, like their own, like general statements and their reportings. Is that? They're supposed to be not reporting heights based off of players in shoes anymore and doing more work to um, actually, because the NBA is also, what, what they, is, they let me, that, I'll look at, it used to I'll be look, everybody grew two inches as soon as they were drafted. As well, as they were because well, yeah, because they would measure you in shoes. I'll look him up mm -hmm. on the MB, on NBA dot com as well. Because like for me, like this is a sticking point because it's like Even you know, if, this this isn't this this isn't this isn't wrestling. Yes, right. Exactly. You can't so fluctuate greatly. I want you to report the to numbers accurately. So anyway, yes. move on. But Even, I'll, I'll let's this, say he's six five this. for argument since that's the number that's in front of you. But still, short for power let's forward go, even in today's he's NBA. Power forward is six five. Yeah, and he's not a stocky. Six, oh, he's five. like 200, 205, maybe even yeah. like let's say like two five. Like weights of fluctuation. That's I don't worry about weight sure. as much because that's going to fluctuate way too, way too Especially much through the to, season. Through yeah, the season, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, but he, he he's not a power forward. Even in today's NBA, he's he should not be playing power forward. Not any knock on him. Not no, he's scrappy effort, as hell. His effort is there. Yeah, he is always like I said. He's the only reason that the Bulls were even in the game against Orlando when he he came off the bench. Zach got benched, and that was a big thing. Zach did not appreciate that at all, and that may be. I hope. Now this is the total fan in me talking. I hope that that is the wake up call and for both Zach and perhaps Billy Donovan. Billy stood on a decision to bench Zach. You don't usually see that in the NBA. Like your star player does not get clearly benched, especially if your team, it's one thing to get benched. Okay, hey, early fourth quarter, you're down 20, doesn't look like anything's happening. Bench everybody, bring in the bench players. And oh my goodness, we're we're back in the game suddenly. We're, we're back into it, great, great, great. Okay, now you bring in your star player to kind of finish it, that type of thing. That didn't happen. Zach sat very firmly planted on the bench. Like it was a very clear, and it wasn't the whole offense, you know, it wasn't all five starters type of thing. It was Zach, he was one for 14. 
worst shooting stretch of his, or worst shooting game of his career. Now he immediately bounced back. They played the Celtics. Like I said, they they won by 14. And it wasn't really that close, to be honest with you. The Celtics had some runs because they're a good team, but they weren't really in that game ever. Al Horford shot them completely out of that game. But the Bulls are in this weird transition period. I I feel like they're a, they need to make a move. Right. I can't tell. Right. But my biggest issue is always trying to tell where does the fan in me stop and the okay, yes, they need to make a move, but you can't trade for, you know, Giannis. So however will you you know i'm not a fan of, it's not fantasy basketball exactly like, it'd be a lot easier right, if it right. was let me run that i could do that but, well and also to be fair you know where like fantasy basketball doesn't really represent things too is because and and where maybe a fan may not quite think end. about things too is that you also have to think about the overall team chemistry too sure and sure just because you bring somebody in and I mean, let's look at the Lakers in the late nineties. Just because you bring a bunch of stars in, especially if they're older stars, because that's who you can get. Oh, you're talking that, about the, this is probably, what was it? 2004? When was it when like Malone, Malone and, and and and, and, and Gary them. Payton and those guys that might have been like oh it, it was 2004 oh that was 2004 why. It, it, it's it's a why did i think it was reason. 2019 who did they okay they brought it they but they brought in some they may have done it a few times to be honest with you yeah i i'm probably conflating the the names but it, they, they, I'm it, thinking of like LA, Carl Malone. No, you're right. That's Carl that's who Malone I had in mind. But somehow, Payton somehow I had it. Some I, in my brain, I had it in in in. It, it yeah, it might have been in three or oh four. But it was it was 2003 or 2004, and I may have that number. But it was right at that point. The only reason I can remember that is because it was the Lakers were going for their fourth title in a row, and that was a big deal as a Bulls fan. I didn't want to have anybody getting four in a row and claiming they were the best team of all time because they weren't. So the uh, Lakers and they lost to the. Um, okay, yeah, you, you've got it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the it's the 2003 2004 season. Okay, I okay. didn't. So that's I, why I didn't was trying to pivot between those two. No, and so I, my 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 memory did not connect that that Carl Malone run with the Lakers as the same year that the Pistons won the championship in 04. Yeah. Oh, mine did. I <laughs> did <Bulls> not <laughs> connect that. Um this is this is where my lack of associations exactly starts to exactly. cuz I, I don't I don't make the same associations to, to oh, things man, I, unfortunately. I wholeheartedly. The one, I just remember I just remember that Pistons team. Gonna... I, I was gonna say sorry. I mean, cut you off. No, I just, I just the, say I, was, uh, I remember that year was the the Pistons team, and then kind of some of the weirdness that was happening in the East that led to the um um uh Shaquille Dwayne Wade run. Was that 06? oh right where he had gotten sent. To OC. Yeah, so that, that was, was 06. That was the, um, but that was the moment though. That was the moment that Kobe and Shaq were. No, was, what I'm saying, but there was Kobe some, was, there was, there was, there was, there were some things that had, that things that happened in the East that opened up the door for Shaq to move to Miami in the first place. And yes. so I remember that, like after Detroit won in 2004, and then I, I, I'm trying to remember the specifics of it, but like 05 was a weird year in the East. Who won in 05 in the East? I want to say I'm sorry, like, like, here's like, what, here's I, what, I think, here's I think it I was learned. the Spurs. If, if it's a I've weird learned. year, it if was the it's Spurs. A weird year and there was a hole and I can't remember who won, it was the Spurs. It was always the Spurs. <laughs> 
It wasn't like that. It was the Spurs. <laughs> it's right. Told you. But there was a lot Told of you. weird because of it. It was yeah, because like there was but there was on on the east side of things there was a lot of weird like kind of crazy movements going on that then op it opened up the door for the Shaquille O'Neal to go to Miami because and wait yeah. does he get traded here's what I can't remember did he get traded directly to Miami or did he go to Phoenix first and Phoenix was later okay okay I, cu I couldn't remember that in my my head to figure out where where he ended up in Phoenix. I just remember Shaquille, by the time he went to, he was, he was busted by the always time he went to, stop. he went, he was, Phoenix, busted. he was busted, right? Yeah, yeah he was okay. busted when he That's went what, to Phoenix. I was, and I was pretty, pretty much sure the, of that, but I couldn't quite remember. 100%. Yeah, it was the beginning of the end. Now he had a run like, oh, so, oh, that's right. No, I'm sorry. It was that, oh, four. It was that season. It was that exact season because he moved. He started. So Detroit won in 04. And then it was the mm -hmm. summer. That summer, summer of, that yeah. Shaquille yeah. moved. And no, it's not only just that, but remember who was a free agent that summer. And again, Bulls fan history could have been so different. Uh, uh, sad. Pour one out for the homies. Um, there was one Mr. Kobe Bean Bryant that was a free agent. Right. Right. And he had started buying some real estate in Chicago. The only person who wasn't afraid of a certain legacy that was in Chicago. Could have been so different. It could have been. The, the, the 2000s could have been a lot different. It hasn't been good for Bulls fans, let me just tell you. It's been a long, you know... It, I guess we're, we're paying for all the greatness that was the 90s. And for anybody that's out there watching that is a Bulls fan that did not experience the 90s, I am so sorry because 90s were great. Was you, but but it, it was great. But then also you, you have no idea of all of the inner workings and churnings and the deals with the devil that have led to the conflation of things now also granted granted a lot of that also boiled down to just unfortunate injuries of one derrick rose yes i was gonna say there, there was a there was an opportunity there was there was that moment but we're not gonna talk about the past i, 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 know, I said this i know is, i know this is about but it does is, it does help this it is about does the help current. to it does help to set some context um, at least a little bit around where we are now and sure. with the Bulls and yeah and so like looking at like just kind of let's 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 talk about the team as constituted right now right especially if like people are maybe like casual Bulls fans um you know your take on the team as it stands and also let me ask you this question because i think it also leads into the constitution of the team how how much of the team's woes say right now and maybe a bit of kind of some of the kind of finding themselves and kind of figuring out like the inconsistency let me put it that way is contingent around the fact that lonzo ball is out like your starting so, point guard is out and not and, and able he's to been out yeah. since January, basically. Yes. Yes. Last season. Yes. Uh, so he's coming up on a year. He's coming up on a year being uh, being gone. Yes, this team has constructed with Lonzo Ball is clearly better like that's 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 obvious right you, you, you good player i don't know i don't, don't want to say great because i don't want to use the word great loosely not fair I enough i don't know that yeah yeah so I, i'm not trying to knock him by not saying great he's a really good player he really makes the bulls when he's on the court makes them more dynamic I do wonder 
as a and i'm trying to take this is where my my fandom versus own brain of how you know the nba actually works is sort of fighting because it's revision a little not revisionist history that's not quite the right term but i remember how well things were going when he was on the court but i don't want to overstate his value either it's not like he's come it's not like the Bulls are bringing back Giannis if he was there, or LeBron in his prime, or Jordan, or Michael, or any of any of. <clears throat> he's not that. So, uh, and but let he's me... sort of the engine that makes things work. For right. The team there's as there's that part, and let me let me let me I guess let me let me clarify my question in the sense that. maybe it's more of an impact on having someone who is very 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 much capable of being a solid point guard on the floor not so much so the, at- not so much of like lonzo ball as like the the superstar just you know that not not so much that perspective from a team dynamic perspective and who right. you have to potentially fill in right now like the soon the, the, the soon mo um that's what i was gonna say um, so you have on, ha- the, on the screen right there if you slide everybody back one basically yes so lonzo yes if you put lonzo into the starting lineup io um Ayo DeSumo, who is super sophomore, all that good stuff. But also like a more, is, more of a more of a defensive point guard than a floor yeah, general. His three point shot has really fallen off. And he and Caruso really hot, Caruso's really better off. coming off the bench. Kobe White's Caruso better be like, better coming off the bench. Drogic's older. He's and he's been he's been dealing with with uh, issues uh, physically. And, and like honestly, honestly uh, he might be our weirdly enough maybe our best point guard. Right. That's now. what I'm saying. Uh, if if he wasn't dealing with the health issues right now, he'd be your best bet as far as like just feel like being able to fill that you need somebody to be able whether it is your true to form point guard or a point forward or wherever it is you need sure. somebody that could be that floor general that can help to really drive the team and make sure everything on the floor is happening the way it's supposed to and give Lonzo Ball credit I think think that he's highly capable in that role oh he's excellent and and he's he's excellent at being and and, the guy that makes the other the real guys go and what else do you want from but also he's solid defensively and has a decent three-point shot in and of himself like you said like no like like, 40 percent he might be the bulls best three-point shooter fair enough you know but again like you're talking about like no like not like you know not necessarily maybe like the quote unquote guy like so clearly but like he he low key kinda is so let me in let so me many ask weird ways non bulls fan let me ask you yeah. as a non bulls fan yes. cuz i'm not positive i can answer it without <laughs> my fandom being right involved. right 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 Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan. Those are our two stars. They'll take us as far as they can take us. Are the two of them, and I can't tell you which one's one. One is one and one is one A, right? Right. That's sort right. of the plus and minus as far as that. Could you see the two of them leading a championship team? One of, or both, leading a championship Two. You have to be together. Okay. They're together. Okay. So, and 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 this is why, this this is why I see Lonzo Ball being so important, vital, vital. Because no, no, Levine and DeRozan together, right? 
Levine and DeGrosen together, just the two of them? No. But, Whoa. but, but. With Lonzo? With Lonzo, and then, and Vooch. And Vooch and P. Again, I, I think, I, I, I yeah, think, right. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think that this is, this is a team where you do yourself a disservice to look too hard at the individual trees. You got to look at the forest and see how strong it is together. Because I think that, I think that, I think the fact that, you know, we, we talked about Patrick Williams. Um, and yeah, yeah we'll you, you know, you, will. you, you know, we'll you take your him. money and yeah, things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, okay, yeah. fair enough. But again, it's, you know, man, like, like potential, just pure raw potential when i look at ball levine derozan williams with the potential and vooch with a backup of caruso Derek jones green and drummond and io like I, I, oh I, yeah and not yeah because he'd be there want, too i don't want that to sell no say, no you're right you're like right you're I right because I, I wouldn't I even i wouldn't even issue. look at them no you're right yeah. you're right a Especially bringing him in to be able to really help to disrupt that offense, take ball out, and then not to lose anything defensively. Dude. I mean, you, and then with Caruso, with his engine, like Caruso's one of those, I love a guy, like every team needs a guy like Caruso. Just it every do. team really needs a guy like Caruso. Like this guy just is 100% committed to be in the NBA. Like, just... Yes. And will do whatever it takes, right? And to have him as that combo guard backup along with a Desunmo that you can bring in and, like, like and Caruso, and again, they're a great backcourt dynamic because they, they, they fill each other's gaps very well because yeah. Caruso's that offensive firecracker. And, but also, not, I mean, not, a, not, not a, like he, he doesn't have the skill set, but you can't, you can't discount his effort defensively. But then you yeah. look at the sumo who's such a, he's, he's like a freaking, he's, he's like a Revis. He's like a yeah. Daryl Revis on the basketball Masumu, court defensively. He it can lock in. I think that's a little bit of what his learning curve has been this year. Fair or unfair, he's been thrown into the starting lineup and been told to be Lonzo Ball. Right. And no, he, and he's that, not. It's, it's, not yeah. yeah, I don't even know that. I mean, he may be one day, but Lonzo fair Ball enough. Fair now enough. is it, it. Well, Lonzo Ball now or at least the last version that we saw of him, isn't what he came into the NBA in year one and two What is either. I mean, remember, he was shooting threes from the left, from the you know left side of his head, despite being right-handed when he came into the NBA. But the, the year two, like he went from yeah. uh, teens, I want to say he shot in the teens. As the far biggest as free throw not, is, is, free throws and yeah, is his, his shooting, his shooting need to catch up. But when you saw Zoe on the floor, you could like you can see people coming his on the floor skill. that yeah, his that elite skill was vision. It and they they know exactly where everybody is, and he also had that same defensive capability and motor and and overall maneuverability, plus he's taller and longer. So, no, a Desumo can't be quite that guy, but I could see like a Desumo. I could see a Desumo potentially being a much more well-rounded, but but yet still as strong defensively as a Pat Bev, which is nothing to laugh at. No, no, he's a better, he, he's probably trending to be a better play. He's only been a year, a year and a quarter so far he is trending to be a better shooter at pat bev's height he's going to be a better shooter than pat bev. I, 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 that's what he's what i mean that's he, yeah, he yeah, he's yeah. going to be able to yeah, bring yeah. 
I, I, I think that the sumo could be the as good of a defensive player as Bat Bev. Oh, easily. With. He's really with, long, really with, lanky. Yeah. With much more on top of that. Shot. Exactly. A 3 and D without making that sound like a exactly. negative. Exactly. Sometimes 3 and D can be a negative thing. People are like, oh, he's a 3 and D player. That's all he can be. No, 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 it's, it's, no, it's that, and look at, look at, look, 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 look at, look at, look at my boy Franz Wagner out in Orlando, let's not get it twisted, right. there are dudes that are categorized as 3 and D's that can do much more than that, and I, I agree, I, I can agree that, but could you imagine that, but that, so, to your point about, say, like, Zach Levine and, and, and DeMar, no, but, but, you put Ball back in that starting lineup. You move the Sunmo back into the backing on on the backup side, where he has the opportunity to sit on the bench and watch the game. Not just watch the game. Listen to coaches talking about the game, and, and then he's, also he's excellent at that. He's a sponge. yes. Oh, Last he is. He was. Oh, one hundred percent. This guy. This guy's upside. This guy's upside is ridiculous right now but that's what i'm saying having him off the bench with caruso and then you have like and then look like it like your Derek jones your javante green your andre drummond it's, the tree it's your all like, effort team it's the forest it's, it's, team. it's the forest like you never question io's effort it's we, the forest you know, as, as bulls fans you never can yeah you never question javante green's effort and if he's healthy if he's healthy you know, you need to, and again, we, we talked about this a bit when we talked about um, off streaming and I were talking a little bit about kind of some of the dynamics with the old school Chicago Bulls. And we were talking about kind of those quintessential, like, 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 like minute, two minute points. Yeah. Where the right rotation, the Three right rotation of a player could make all the difference. That's where Drogic comes in. Yeah, as like you as a guy that can come in for ball been, as an offensive he's been huge for general. The balls early yeah, on. except for he's been hurt and things like that. It, it, he's it, older. It, it's yeah, not, yeah, yeah. It, he's gonna him you, you use him as limited, put him as limited enough. minutes. Yeah, it, it. He's 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 such a great he's such a great architect on the floor. He's such a great like old school point guard in that way he's he's a, he's probably inherently one of the be probably the best pure playmaker the bulls have right now probably maybe kind of some but between lonzo ball and then i would say like uh to rosen after that um and so but that's the other thing too is that when you have ball on the floor and a DeRozan. With a finisher like the Veen, again, I think that, I think that it it's 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 the bits and pieces of this team that gives them potential, that gives them a chance. I would say my biggest issue is the potential of Pat Will as a versus the reality of him. Def especially people talk about his offense my concern is more with the defensive side of the ball um because to me that's where pat will really brought value because then See, otherwise and, and you're dealing with javante green special. no he was special in his rookie year defensively yeah. It was, oh my goodness, he's, he's going to be able to be the stopper. He was the, the next Kawhi. The, he was the next the Kawhi. Bigs, of, the, yeah. of the bigs and small forwards that are sort of big. And yeah, he's going to be Kawhi. He's, you know, that's why he's called the paw instead of the claw and stuff like that. Right. So, and he hasn't been. Right. Now, last year doesn't count. He was hurt. Yeah. It yep. was a freak And he's accident. coming he back. Dunk, he's he coming back. Down. He, but okay. he's been coming back for about a year year and a half now true that happened true. in game five of last true. season true he set off all last he could have come back possibly for the playoffs so that i don't that the injury thing is no longer it's just an excuse right people are bringing right. that up um right he has it's the aggression if you could somehow morph 
uh, his his ability and J- Javante Green's aggression. Oh, into one oh, player. Oh, good God! Now you have something. But now you. I'll have tell you something. what. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. what. You want to know? Is. You you want to you want you want to you want to see a uh, a completely like freaky like maybe halfway stupid and very much probably insane Frankenstein scenario. Yeah. Plop Caruso's brain and Pat Will's body. Oh yeah. Oh absolutely. Yeah. Because Pat uh, <laughs> Caruso and Javante Green aren't that different as far as their head. No. They know no. The oh, they're simpatico. I mean, this is, and this I is mean, where again where I see like them, but like, without without this in their brain, they don't they're this is where NBA. I love. This is where I love. Like the, the sumo. Okay, take Kobe White out with his big ass afro. I'm sorry. I got no. I got Actually, no love for that on. guy. No, he don't have that anymore. Man. I got. I got. I don't care. I got no. I got. I don't care. I got. I got no love for that guy. I got no love for that guy. I got no love for that guy. But you imagine, like, so you bring oh, ball. Wow. The other thing about ball. The other thing about putting ball in at the starting lineup. Then you have a back court you have a you have a bench court coming in to, imagine like the minutes we have nothing but the second team in you still you got the sumo caruso Derek Jones jr javante green and andre drummond not not like a dead stop like holy shit back up but i gotta tell you that's pretty freaking solid it's yeah the, it's their second unit has been better all season than their starters and again yeah. this is where my issue is where i'm going is it coaching is coaching part of it the, the team needs something and maybe the something is lonzo i don't i don't feel it's just Lonzo. it's not Lon- no it's lonzo like lazy it's lonzo it's lonzo, lonzo. It's Lonzo, and they, they need another big. They need another big. I was talking to you last year, assuming Pat Will was going to be solid. I was yeah. telling you last year that my personal take would be that they needed somebody that could be more of a slot in as a combo four or five guy. That could be a right. three-man rotation between them, right? Well, especially last year. Now, that, I will say the team, the way they're they're playing this year is different than last year. The biggest difference is uh, with Drummond. So, P. Will in the starting lineup, he wasn't there. And two, Drummond also wasn't there. So, they didn't have anybody off the bench. Like, the next guy off the bench was... If they went to a backup center, it was um, Derek Jones. It was Jones with yeah, maybe um, Tony Bradley. More Bradley, powerful. Tony Bradley. That's what I was trying to think of. Yeah, who's still on the team? He's a stiff. Yeah, uh, he, he he he's a person that has he's got the height and size, but nothing. That's else. it. That's it. Um, yeah, yeah. There, so, I mean, I I I would personally put Derek Jones in there because Derek, honestly, you know, another guy that's all motor, just all just effort, and just last all year, just everybody you know. got hurt at the end of the season from yeah. February on. Yeah. Everyone was hurt. Zach was out for a while. The only person that didn't get hurt was knock on wood, um, Demar. Demar was the only only guy that was like there the whole time. Yeah. Everyone else was gone. Lonzo yeah. was gone for the rest yeah. of the season. Fooch was dealing was with gone stuff. For yeah, a good mo- portion yeah. of the season. Yeah, he was already out. Like they just went through this rash of injuries, and but, they are bigger and stronger. And their bench mob. So the bench mob is much better this year. Overall, is, overall, Dragic and Drummond. I, really I have a connection. I would argue though that again. So. We talked about like you're dealing with two extremes at the four and five right now. And right. what I felt like is so again, that was on before before Drummond. Right? All right. I wouldn't have picked someone like a Drummond. And just in terms of just X's and O's and trying to figure out player placement and who would work. I wouldn't have gone with someone like a Drummond, although I, 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 I'm not, I am not going to argue his presence and his work and what he has done. He, he's, 
He's been good. He's been he's yeah. he's he's yeah. been he's been doing his job. Let's put it that way. Especially Which, on the second coming in on the yep. second unit against a bunch yep. of bum centers. Yep. I mean he gets every rebound. When he comes yeah. in, it's nah, it's, it's no question. Game was a perfect example yep. of yep. just what a difference he makes. And I'm not saying I'm not and again, I'm not arguing that like I would ideally I would still have him on the floor. I would still have him on the like maybe kind of as more as like the the third run kind of guy or at the very least maybe even like listed as like the second string center but what i sure. would have especially start thinking about later on in like the playoffs where things start getting tighter then what i would i i would be leaning more towards somebody who can um be more of a interior presence but they can also potentially stretch the floor a little bit at least maybe again be gotcha. someone who could who be at, and again but again this is also assuming pat will was going to be freaking pat will was he's not pat will so like <laughs> like but, but again like that was my thought was okay assuming p will is going to be coming back and he's going to be like like legitimately and maybe he might still the story isn't completely written but as it's being written right now it's not yeah. looking good yeah. and if i was the bulls i wouldn't be hanging my hat on him but yeah, it's consistency for him i was it's i just... was yeah i was speaking more from the perspective of assuming pat will is going to be there then i was thinking they needed somebody especially again you think about it as like that like where you you need that three you need two three-headed monsters you needed at the guard positions and you need it at the big positions. And then you need some kind of mixings in and of there to kind of fill in at the three spot. But if you can come in and you can bring in like a solid, like three man rotation at both the guards and the, and what is really now the true like front court now, because really the small forward now is not the front court. That's it's wing, it's wing. No, yeah, right, right, right. right? Yeah. It, it, we talk right. about his front court, but really, that's not that's '90s, 2000s kind of shit. Like, kind of just still carrying across, but it's really truly not front court anymore. You know, true to form front court is the power forward and center position, and to get like a solid three man rotation, and to do that, you need somebody that can come out either as part of your starting lineup or coming off the bench that can play both the power forward and center position effectively, and. This is where I'm feeling that the Bulls are, are really lacking right now, right? And it's a matter of being able to be a solid front court, either offensively or defensively, and then also be able to stretch out the floor enough to really warrant you kind of playing that four position in today's NBA, right? Um, and this takes me to freaking Miles Turner. <laughs> I like I I I I I won't stop talking about this guy until he stops yeah. being relevant because I love this dude. I love this dude. <laughs> I love this kind of a player. I like just just okay. I sent you. I need. I actually. I wish. I wish I'd have sent that. My. I need. I wish I would have sent that my, to myself. Let me. Let me pull this up. Let me pull. I'm gonna. I'm gonna spout off some numbers. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk some stuff up in here. Let me. Let me. Let me pull up some stuff. Up. Up in this place. Right. Up in this piece. I'm gonna be. I'm. I'm gonna be <laughs> spouting off. I'm gonna be spitting out some stuff. Right. I'm sorry. No. You know what? I, I've I've been good. I've been good. I've been good. I'm gonna spat out some shit tonight. Okay. Listen. <laughs> let me let me let me put this up. So far this season, straight up numbers: 17.5 points per game, a career high. 8.5 rebounds, a career high. Three blocks per game. 66% true shooting, which is also a career high on a 36.4% three point shooting. From the center position. 
let's put some respect on this man's name. So, <laughs> in Chicago, <laughs> he'd be a power forward. Oh, but see, but it can, but it can also pl- obviously play center for you. True. No, no, no. I'm not knocking that. I, I'm, I'm, so what I would if say, we, if if you were if you were to bring a Miles Turner, first off, before we get into the you know uh, all the sparkle of what it would be or what it wouldn't be in lineup. And let me let me let me cost. also make this clear. Let me let me let me make this clear for everybody right now. Just so just so that nobody gets like like come in is like oh Jared's just running the same damn line, same damn line, same damn line. Let me let me make this perfectly clear for everybody. Okay, can everybody hear me? Can everybody hear me? I am gonna be calling out the same damn line. My first answer. My first answer for who does a team need right now? And if you ask me, the first name that's gonna come off my lips is Miles Turner. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I just need, I need to get that out there. I need to get it out there right now because, but especially like, like, and and it's not always going to fit. It's not always going to fit. Yeah. Because I'm normally the ones with coming up with crazy trades or trades just, (laughs) I'm usually the one that is like, oh, we should trade for, you know, I don't don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. And that is true. Miles Turner. All day. Miles Turner all day. I just Miles Turner all day. I don't see how. Miles Turner all day. See, I don't care. I just don't see I don't how. Care. I don't care. I, I just I mean you see what happened was no. And if and if and if I was Indiana and if I was Indiana, if I was Indiana, the last thing I would do was let go of Miles Turner. I'm like yeah, I'm sorry. It's it's gonna, it's it's because I know been and they better baby. because okay. he's gonna be a free agent, so or they're just gonna let him go. Or yeah, exactly. They're gonna, they're gonna let him figure go it out or let him go. But uh, yeah. Miles Turner's gonna go somewhere and I'm gonna yeah. be following it's like he's my second favorite player in the league right now. Like one hundred percent. It's 100%. so hard. And uh, for people that are asking my first, um, it, it's Joker. It's Joker. Let's not. Yeah. Let's not. Let's not. Um, uh, if. All right. So let me. I, I don't even know uh, if I'm the you most go. fan talking at this point, or like <laughs> the logical. I don't know which one I am right now. It's okay. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So it's okay. Yes, first of all, let me just start off by saying Miles Turner is a great player, a, a good player. He's a good player. Oh, uh, I'm very, I, I would like him in Chicago. Huh. I just don't see how the Bulls get him there. Now, now fair enough. Above, above any other offer. Like, there are other teams that have, should have better offers. They may uh, and, not and, offer them. Right. They may not offer them. Right, but there should be better offers out there. Now, again, there's all also the that you named, there's also all the that you named. let's also let's also call out the fact that from a player morale perspective for Miles Turner, um, this has been horrible, right? Oh, Indiana's guess, yeah. been talking about him the person. putting him ab- absolutely, absolutely. He's been he's been on the trade block for like three years. From a business perspective, you know from a business perspective, from Indiana's line of things, especially from like last year and and then even especially now this year, I think mm-hmm. what they were realizing was that you know, um, as a va- like trade to value they can get a lot for him yes right and especially maybe further on because the pacers are a relatively young team Which and is what they, i mean they've been rebuilding so, as soon as they traded off um i was gonna say point this uh shoot 
Wahoo Wah. Wah, yeah, I know exactly who you're talking about. And I'm still, I'm losing the name too. Shoot, my main name just completely blanked. I don't know how that's possible. Uh, Hold up. Yeah, Hold I should up. be ashamed Hold of myself. Up. I'm a Virginia fan. Uh, Brogdon. Um, Malcolm Brogdon. Brogdon. Yeah. Oh man, Malcolm. I know. Sorry. I did the same thing, so uh, I can't blame you. I could see him as plain as day. It was. Which is, it's a it's an odd name. Yeah, I can't want to say Prentiss, and then I'm like, no, that's the wrong no, one. That's no. the wrong UVA light skinned dude. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, <laughs> the, yeah, Brogdon. As soon as they dealt him, I mean, the the right writing was on the wall. Well, maybe actually before that, because I think he was after the fact. As soon as they traded uh, the San Antonio or not San Antonio, it's the Sacramento Sa- trade. Sabonis. They moved the bonus over to Sacramento, that that the, and then and then Brogdon, the yeah. And especially yeah, like you can see, like coming. once they moved the bonus, you could tell that they needed to move Brogdon because like the two of them were kind of that pick and roll kind of duo with with Indiana, and they had well, yeah, they had that, they had a good dynamic the... going, and that was really the core of their offense at the time. So, um, so yeah, if if you're the Bulls. What, what would it take? We'll, we'll play. Let, let's let's do this. What would it take to get Miles Turner, right to Chicago? Well, so obviously, not even if the should. Let's get past no, the should. No, nah, that's the question here, and and let and, and I'll be fair here. So now let me let me also let me also help to provide context. To let me let me let me let me put the method into my madness here. All of this to me, and and I spoke to this before. Um, I think we need somebody, and I say we. I'm not even really a Bulls fan. <laughs> I like, like how we like, suddenly switch. Just kind of like I went from being the like, fan to you being the fan, and now me being like, yeah, that's not really. I think I I. <laughs> With 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 Pat will not quite showing up, and the fact that although I like Andre Drummond, um, and I appreciate the effort that Javante Green brings, I would rather have someone that can be skill. a skill, but also play potentially both the four and five for them. So. That's where I'm trying to think, but also I'm trying to think about like what was Pat Will supposed to bring to the table? And I'm thinking about defense. But I'm thinking about okay, also in today's NBA, really the way the power forward position is really kind of leaning now is really true to form a three and D four. Right. right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and be... and you don't you don't if you don't have Pat Will, v- Vooch does a lot of things, but he's not a true defensive stopper. If you Vooch know, plays Vooch gets a bad rap a lot of times. Like, oh, you're such a bad defender, bad defender. I don't say he's bad. Vooch is a really no, no, no. I know, I know. I, yeah, I mean, just I'm talking as as a fan. Right, Those fans. We not oh, Vooch isn't because he's not what you think of as a defensive player. And he's not, he's not fast. Like he's not fleet of foot. He's not right. blocking people's shots. He's not that intimidating force inside. So you think, eh, he's a bad defender. Vooch plays solid team defense. He knows how to exactly. drop coverage and exactly. like that. He's yes. in the right spot at the right, right time and right. things like that. Yes. And he's, if you go and look at the numbers, he's actually a weirdly an above average, not highly, not way above, but slightly above average defender not, not, position and sure, his weirdness when it comes sure. to that. Vooch is one of those. He's not locking anybody no, down. Vooch, jumping, and, you know. and Vooch, Vooch is one of those. I, I, I actually like Vucevic a lot. Um, yeah. But also, but and it's weird he gets because a bat. He gets probably a lot one of, of the knock. one of the reasons why I like Vujovic is because I I do like players that it's hard to figure out why they are as good as they are, but they are as good as they are, right? But right. at the same time, what that what that ultimately boils down to mechanically on the floor is there are ultimately. Um, 
little kind of like smothering of weaknesses that you have to account for that can be um taken advantage of sure right sure. and so my my thought along that side is that mm, Vucevic can score from a pretty decent spread around the floor. Oh, sure. But he's yeah, not he's, a he, he's, he's, he's 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 not a knockdown three point shooter. No. And he's not a true to form rim defender either. And again, this is where my brain goes to Miles Turner because he does both of those things. Plus, plus, Turner is a very solid um, pick and roll player. He's an exceptionally um, consistent, solid dribble handoff player. He's also one of the kind of the few players that has his his range of offensive play who is also solid in the post offensively and say great solid but then sure. also has such a strong potential defensively um both in he's yeah not, well, he's, he's 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 a great shot blocker both either as a primary defender or a help defender he's also a solid pick and roll defender he's got a good solid defensive mindset he's 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 and then oh yeah he'll get you eight and a half rebounds a game you know okay you know it, it's and it, and on seven and 17 and a half points i mean potentially depending on and maybe that could fluctuate depending on how you want to use him right so he's, so he's not the knock on him if i'm comparing it okay first of all i'm comparing him to vooch directly i would never are, are you let me ask you first are you trying to work toward the concept of to get turner you're giving up vooch not ideally okay, okay. not ideally i was gonna say no not a, ideally not ideally fact, no I would, no lean hard against that no that as wouldn't be one, that that wouldn't a, be a... like no nah, just just looking from just looking from the team constitution and who's doing what and how sure, that would sure. not be that would not be my first pass now the now the problem there is would indiana accept that trade well see i don't think i don't think indiana actually wants vooch i don't think it that vooch and... doesn't do them any good the, the, not necessarily but if they lose turner if they lose turner then they're potentially um they they, 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 they could get give too they, much i don't think they care too awful much Right because they this because but also because, oh, only because of the fact that they about. need they need they need to do something with him or potentially lose him uh, but right. but but from a just a pure like who they have and how things are looking it wouldn't necessarily look great but you're but, but yes um given the fact that vooch, they are probably going to even lose if they traded him. for vooch vooch is a free agent at the end of the year too so it's not even like right okay well, right you could trade right next year they, well there deal. you go no yeah so i i am th i'm thinking old, more he's not i'm a guy you could build around yeah i'm i'm thinking more as a way to solve the patrick williams problem Dilemma. And then also a way to solve that three-man dynamic problem. If you have Turner, Vooch, and Drummond, because like I said, I need somebody that can play the four and the five. I don't care Somewhere if they're coming off out. the bench or if they're yeah. one of the starters. I'm fine either way. Right. But I need, I need a three-man dynamic. Now, ideally... What I would do is it's better with a solid four or five as the starter and then have somebody coming off the bench that's versatile. Um, because then you have a bit more kind of um, um, 
um, rotation dynamic there. Just kind of the time, the, the timing of things can work out a little bit better, but you can sure. fit, you can still you effectively still work that out. So you could have say like, um, you know, but the, the thing is there, I would still try and push for a better power forward um, as a backup. Got you. But, but what you could do is have Turner kind of coming in and playing with both Vooch and Drummond. You can have green, like like combination of green your, and Jones, depending on your dynamic. And the bench and your your guy that can yeah, kind of push the gap. exactly. A little more offense when the bench is in, a little more defense when the offense Ex exactly. or the are in. That exactly. Which, which I think, yes, he would be, he would be an improvement in that respect but then also Especially the defensive consistency and then the defensive capability because then that also oh, alleviates sure. that alleviates vooch on well, that not side only vooch, what, what it would actually help so the, the bull starters is a reason that they're also the bench when they come in kind of give them a jolt is because of the defensive side of things zach levine is not a defender. No, and DeRozan's uh, also yeah. has would love to be a yeah. defender, but he is also no. not a defender. No, they have they have all, they Lucevich have other is a yeah. slow defender. He's right. not. Whereas if you have Turner in there, you have people that you can just direct. Guys but that are also, driving that are going to run. By also, you have you have you have someone again, but like like where Turner is so incredible is on kind of the pickup on that help defense when necessary that's what i'm saying you you and, know where to send him now well Whereas send send with turner just, even like, at his right. with turner there if yeah, turner yeah, yeah, there, yeah 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 you know Zach, like, hey, yeah push him right 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 push right right like right i, I can send but him i'm also i'm also thinking i'm also I'm, a, I'm also thinking about like kind of like um a job like like blitz second adjustments and vooch gets beaten off and Turner realizes that Vooch got beat and can come in and get the Clean block. Up. That's yeah. where Turner gets his blocks, you know, a lot sure. of the times. And especially when he's playing with Sabonis, back, in, back when Sabonis was there, Turner was able to really come in and help pick up for some of Sabonis' defensive weaknesses. Um, and being able to help pick up when Sabonis got beat and to be able to come in and get that help side block, right? Sure. Um, and, and so... That would, be, that would be the type of defense that they would likely be running. Yeah, um, yeah. If, if, and, if they're in there. Unless you have him and Drummond in there, at which time... Totally well, different. Just then, so well, then, yeah. If you have, if you have, if, yeah. If you have, if you have, if you have yes. both Turner and Drummond on the floor, for, yeah, yeah, oh, dude, you're looking, you're looking at, is, yeah. you're looking at a potential of a pretty, like one. I think one, I'm more excited. I think I would be more excited about the potential of the defensive team that they could roll out there. That's if where you put that's, out Drummond yeah. and Turner and Caruso and Dasumu and then Lonzo. Right. Or, you know, something sure. like that. I mean, they may not score 10 points, but <laughs> defensively they would be But again, you got you've got stoppers. you've also you've also got a guy that has shown pretty consistently to be an effective again. I don't need him to be like a high volume three-point shooter. Sure. But you got to pay attention to him. That guy busts What's out a, that guy that that guy busts out a pick and pop. Yeah. For somebody, you you so. you have to you have to he he has gravity. Which and, is similar to Vooch in that way. In that this way, they're shooting sure. pretty close. I, I I had to look it up just to make sure that um. Because Vooch has been shooting a three much better this year. Last year he was more around thirty percent, I want to say uh, thirty. He might have been at thirty-five, but it would have been because of a late season. 
surge and he just got a little bit yeah, better yeah. okay right he was right. more like 32 most of the last year sure he might have gotten a sure i had to look it up to be sure of that but this year he's, he's shooting about 37 35 36 37 percent in okay. other words he's shooting okay where you got to legitimately heal let, let me pull it up the number well, and again yeah, right now he's i'm 37 percent and again Over. that's why i'm arguing i uh, ideally i would not get rid of Booch, if if I could handle it. again, I don't so know if any deal that you would trade. So if the Bulls were going to make a trade with Turner, you, all all trades for the Bulls for anybody that's worth anything major start start and almost end with Patrick Williams and Kobe White. Right. They start with one of them, if not both of them. I uh, it, it, I would I would say to make the money work, you would have to send both, and then either my my first pass would be pat will kobe white guaranteed and then either dale and terry or tony bradley that would be my that would be my like ideal scenario because and again i'm sorry kobe white's I'm not doing it being good. no go ahead I was gonna say, I think I'm gonna switch over to being the uh, like the Pacers front off. If I'm a Bulls fan and they're like, uh, we want Kobe White and Patrick Williams, I would, you know, him and Hall and talk about how great Patrick will be and things like that. At the end of the day, I'm probably doing it. You know, yeah. It's, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm probably doing it and not really being. Yeah, it'd be it'd be nice to keep Patrick Williams. Don't get me wrong. Well, but it's sure. it's the potential of Patrick Williams which gives you value in the trade exactly. in the first place. Exactly. Yeah, right. You don't make the trade otherwise, right? Right. So I'd be oh, I'd be shopping him up. I mean, oh, yeah. I would be talking about this guy. It's like, yeah, we just we need we need we need someone that can you know do X Y Z. But look seriously. He will is such a solid player. He like he I he's think rising. he needs I trend. think he's yeah. rising and I think he needs a change of scenery. I think yeah. that he needs I think we need to I think, you know, if 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 on, a on the team can come in and da, 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 I mean it's because of Levine yeah. and DeMar. Ex well, exactly. Yeah. That's the other thing, too, because if you look at if you look at the Pacers right now, like now, center would be a potential issue for them, but you still have like Halliburton. Um, they have them barred in there. Okay, fair enough. But they've got they really your star shooting guard is um, Math Mat it's Mathurin Mathurin. Um, this kid, this kid is this kid is sick right now. Yeah. I mean, sick. And so, yeah, so if you're and, a team that is rebuilding, fair, yeah, young, 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 you don't care. young, young. It's, yeah, it's it's talent, and we get all the pieces, and we'll sort them out. You like, you just want young and talented. I think, I think that the Pacers are going to go to Chicago and say, yeah, that's all well and good. I want some draft picks. That's where Fair it gets enough. a little hazy. Fair enough. As, and that's as, where as I Bulls think fan, that's where I get a little bit hazy. That's like, where uh, I think that the the perspective of also possibly instead of maybe a Dale, Dale and Terry mm -hmm. coming in with a Tony Bradley might be a better trade at least on paper because then what you're at least bringing in is someone who can come in at the center position because they they're they're fairly they're fairly like really their one weak spot right now with turner on the floor is the power forward shop up williams as the potential answer to that problem hell also the other thing is he's got another young buck in jalen smith come in now he's also not doing so great which means you pit them against each other competition right. isn't a bad thing 
So no. you might be able to position it where you can make figure out who's going to step up amongst the two, have Bradley as kind of maybe your quote unquote weakest point on the floor for you. But then you've got some backups here. But then you still have Halliburton, Maturin, Buddy Healed, and that Buddy Healed Halliburton dynamic is stupid. Then and see now, I, I I will say with even with all of that though, one of Chicago's other big weaknesses is three point shooting. They have none. Uh, they have Zach, who is a score not a shooter and there's a difference i mean you know that but the, when they get, the, and that and again that between now that's also speaking to the problem of having lebon lonzo out too true right yeah just, lonzo just, is their just, best three-point shooter as weird as that sentence is to say uh it, uh, he is their best three-point shooter zach is a rhythm shooter he's a sure. rhythm scorer sure. once he's in a rhythm you're not gonna cool him down like he has to cool himself it's, down that's the only way yeah, right if he shoot threes yes and he can just keep backing up yeah um he and if you start if you start pushing him too hard then he's gonna drive by you and by then you and if you yeah. if you position your offense right he's just gonna get cuts to the lane and just yeah demar yeah. in that way is a rhythm shooter too his rhythm usually he stays just out he stays inside the three-point line he's a he's that two-point mid-range the mid-range assassin yeah as uh yeah. stacy king calls him yeah and he's that but and, and but and, in yeah. rhythm he can also shoot threes yep there's no one they don't have you know back in the day they don't have steve kerr they don't have john pax um they don't have they don't have that knockdown. if he catches it out there it's going up and it's going in they don't have that guy so lonzo is their first one they'd hoped Kobe would eventually step into that role. Kobe's not it. it Co Kobe is a really good player. I think he's going to have a nice little career, but he's not anything close to what they were hoping he'd be. He's not even good at consistently being the scorer, and he's known for being a scorer. Right? He's, no, he's that, not that's that. that's that's why I said I'm I'm I'm. It pays I'm, me to I'm, say again. I'm, I'm, nice I'm, guy. I am, I am, I am the worst thing that you can be. I'm complacent. Okay. I'm complacent. Okay. I am just not. not complacent is not the right word. I'm. What's the right word? I am apathetic. Ap I'm apathetic. Yeah, I it's, a, it's a different A. Well, like even compl like complacent is like it's like you're just kind of. You're there, you kind of yeah. with the thing, and you just, you're not really, you're not driving it, but you're just kind of there. But ap yeah, apathetic, no, you, you apathetic is yeah. more like, that's how I feel about Kobe White. Because, yeah. no, I'm not a Bulls fan. I don't have any kind of personal history or love with this dude. Or hey, Only thing yeah. I can tell you yeah. is that I am not seeing the value here other than other than the money he's being paid to move it around right. i'm sorry yeah. but that's and that's, uh, and that's <laughs> that's the problem with kobe kobe's kobe's a nice guy but maybe you and know, again he's, maybe he's... maybe maybe the like a change a, a, a move uh and maybe like this kind of thing is like like maybe it might be that that one thing what i would love to see what i would love to see is like this is that one thing oh you're gonna dump me off motherfucker guess what you know what yeah you know what i'm gonna get mine i'm coming up in, in here in I'm indiana you, and i'm gonna get mine and i'm come. i'm like yes do that please because yeah, he, <laughs> he's kobe is again he falls into the he's a nice guy like a both we, we hate on him but we like him the 
the person. Sure, you like the guy. The, the guy, and then yeah, again, like the guy, and, and I'm, I'm not, like, uh, again, I'm not, again, and I'm, no, I don't, I don't know the dude, and I have not, not I've never heard anything. I'm also tired of talking right. about I've never his heard, I've potential. never heard anything bad about him, but as far as, like, an asset on the floor, See, I, I, I feel it, the same. I'm it's with you. I understand. so it's and and again that's why i say like for me like i would love i would love to hear about a redemption story sure it, this hat this is not the first time it's happened for somebody coming out of the bulls it, yeah it, i was gonna it, say it that happens. one day i'd like it to be that a team a player comes to chicago and has right that story right as opposed to right just leaving it. right Constantly. And then maybe, hey, well, maybe this might be Miles Turner's thing. But hey, because <laughs> I'm still, I'm going to shop you on Miles Turner until I'm blue in the face. I, I just, until he goes somewhere else. Because it sounds like uh, the weirdest thing about this whole thing is normally I'm the one coming up with ridiculous trade but it's ideas. Not ridic but I'm, like, I'm still, Jack, I'm bringing no, no, no. you, I'm, I'm saying, bringing you X's and O's. Us, I'm the one going, I'm, oh, we can make this happen. We can make it Jared. No, like, I am oh, bringing like, you why would X they do that? X's and O's and money and money that will work here. Now, my biggest question is in the, if let me put it this way, this trade I have set up, if you're Chicago and you don't take this, you're a fucking moron. All right. So what, if what was you're the Indiana, trade? what's the trade? What's the trade? Turner for Williams, White, and Bradley. You're looking at less than an 800 grand difference out of millions. Millions. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's not the, it's not the dollars. No, the numbers work. I would, the, the one thing this doesn't allow you to do is to um, tr like uh, account for trades. And sure. that kind of thing. Okay, trade. I, I think we all, if if anybody out there is watching, they're like, oh, it's the ESPN trade machine. Yes, the ESPN trade machine. Is it, no, it's this is it, no. This we, is this it, is more yeah. just a a, a a way to kind of help level set some things around the discussion sure. and the conversation. That's right. it. it. It's yeah. that's all. We're not using this as gospel. Yeah. Let's no, let's be clear. No let's be clear. <laughs> It, yeah, it, it's just a way oh, to kind of help yes. level set the numbers some way, because there's no there is no true to form kind of system outside of the phone calls and the finagling and the reasons why the people that do that work get paid the money they get paid to do it. Oh, sure. it it's it's it, it doesn't you know, we're sitting here in our in our rooms across one side on like from like literally two sides of the country like yeah. <laughs> like, like on the internet trying to figure this out and yeah but so but so you're talking in, in this deal obviously from a money standpoint only this works out but from a Bulls fan <laughs> looking at only the players, because I think there have to be draft picks. I don't think Indiana mm, makes mm, any mm, sort mm, of trade mm, that mm, doesn't mm, involve mm, the draft mm, picks. So mm, let me table that for just a second. Right. P. Will is is your linchpin in this deal, right? Yeah. As a Bulls fan, you go, but P. Will, man, we can't. If from a front office standpoint, the first their first draft pick is P. Will, as a front office, as a president of basketball operations and GM, the first guy that they drafted was P. Will. What do your quarterly sales numbers look like? What have you done for me for the first half? How have you evaluated and brought potential and earning quality to this company, son? Yes. You're my first hire, but do not make any mistake that you will not be my first fire. Yes. <laughs> and I'm not disagreeing that that, I don't know if I've gotten fully on 100% there. 
I'm close. Okay, so this deal isn't isn't bad to me. This this, this deal isn't one of those that I look at and go, <laughs> no way. Now, and, moving on. <laughs> I, that, and yeah. then again, the whole time I've been speaking about this, it, like I've been talking here, and this has been something I've been I've been kind of thinking through here, and. For folks, for folks listening, understand that no, I I don't have the emotional connection to the team. No. And also, let me and I know I kind of spat it off, kind of like hardcore, kind of business speak kind of thing. Although sometimes you need to be able to pull that out of your pocket when well, it but see, needs that's to come in. To but, say. See, that's but, where the touchy but, feely stuff doesn't but, work. But well, but again, but also, but also to that point, also to that point, I am not arguing that there doesn't need to be any humanity as a part of it. But I see this, and again, I I'm not a fan of either team. I am a fan of Miles Turner, but I'm not a fan of either team. Sure. I don't have a dog in this particular race, other than I am very interested in where Miles Turner goes. So but so if, so okay. I I see this as to the points that I brought up. Kobe White. I almost see as either a someone who can come in and provide like this is your opportunity man you know what you went over to the Bulls you didn't show up you're coming over here you've got a fresh start bro you've got a fresh start you got all the potential in the world you got a fresh start you know what and hey guess what Guess who you get to play a lot? Guess who you get to play a lot? We're both in Central. So does he the, have? He's a nice guy. He's a nice dude. But, but in the right circumstances, instinct. he's a professional basketball player. Right. Which means that we talk about this nice guy, blah 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 blah. But let's 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 be real here. It's it's within the lens of a professional basketball player. Now, this boils down to a couple of different things. Or do you have just more of a nice guy mentality, but you are a true competitor? Or are you some punk who lucked out off of your natural gifts alone and never and and never truly got tested and told that you were god from day one who the hell right. are you so this, this is this this this, this, this if you make a deal like this any deal like any deal for, from the bull side if you're dealing not just Kobe. Kobe, yes, for all the reasons that you, you said. Yeah. But specifically P. Will. For me to trade away P. Will, I have to trade away all of the potential future, the potential wingman to Zach Levine when Damar is gone. You know, so that that's what you're possibly trading away, right? Not not saying you will be all that those things. I'm saying the potential of that that's what you're dealing away and for the bulls to deal that away that means from my perspective you need to be bringing in a guy that is as close to game changing altering the universe as far as the eastern conference goes and title contender this year and next year that's that's and so, not, not playoff contender title contender like this is landscape changing Giannis we're not scared of Joel Embiid who might be hurt by that time uh we're not scared of Kevin Durant whatever craziness is going on with the Nets we're not worried about them 
We're not worried about the West. Like we are, we're not worried about. It. I'm not saying we're better than all of them. We're just saying, when you line them up, you go, yeah, we, we're good. Bring it. Let's let's have this game. That's what you have to deal. I think that's what you need to look at whenever you're dealing Patrick Williams. If you're putting him in a deal, of course, Giannis isn't a possibility, but that's a ridiculous one. But if you were dealing it for somebody like that, yeah, sure. Done. Um, you know, Dallas, if Dallas wants to come calling and, you know, Luca is free, uh, <laughs> Luca would also be nice. Obviously, but, neither of those guys on. are coming. But right. yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, uh, you know, but Kevin Durant, okay. It, it, maybe the Nets get broken up. That's the type of player, though, that I'm not saying Patrick Williams would get them, but that's the kind of guy that you I'm wanting to reach for Patrick Williams. Do I think they get him? No. I don't like obviously those all those players are out there but that's sort of the piece i have playing in my mind is that's where i question see that's Miles that's Turner. to me that's to me where you talk about kind of the crazy Fanside. conversation yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, right? I completely understand that those aren't realistic traits so the, that's it's, probably not the really it's, what i was trying I under, to but i i my do i is, do I do understand. I do understand what you're talking the level about. Of player, where and it's and changing well, the landscape. Well, well, again, again, we're pulling you up. However, that goes again. If this was a younger player who consistently showed me that upside. You and this and, and with P will okay. and 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 this type of conversation came up then yes I would be thinking about the exact same points that you were talking about I'd be thinking about the upside that I'd be handing over and P will just turned and when you talk about young P will is young even for a guy that's been in the league this is his third year he will just turn 21, like just turned a couple months ago. So he is a young player. Sure. Still like sure. age wise sure. young still. He was young coming into the league. So he's younger than a normal third year guy significantly. He's probably a year or two younger than that. To be put, put this me... in perspective, he is younger than Kobe White. So, I mean, fair I'll enough. Fair he's, enough. He's younger fair than enough. Who was a rookie last year? So let me let me let me let me put it this way, and let let me put it this way. If I was too, if, yeah. if 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 I was deciding trade value on keeping P. Will, I would be thinking about dumping. and dumping again. Getting rid of. No, I'm talking about the tank word that shall not be spoken. Because then I'd be looking to drop the Rosen out. Vooch is free agent. Free agent looking ahead. Year. I'd be looking to like Yep, I, I I wish you luck in your future endeavors. <laughs> so you would go the other way. If you I kept P. Will, way. if I kept P. Will, run it back with what you got this year. Let Lonzo hopefully come back healthy. Yep. And then next with year look, with next with year look with trade with the intent of dropping DeRozan and let Vooch find other pastures so Vooch is a free agent at the end of this year Demar is a free agent excuse me at the end of next season yep 
So you would that'd have- That'd be the plan. That would be the plan. That would, like I said, like the, the two year, my two year plan would be to dump those contracts and build. But also, and that also, may be, and, also, end also, happens, but. also with ruthless aggression, get, get Kobe White off my fucking roster. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, that, I'm that, tired. That, I mean, he I'm will, sorry, I but haven't if I'm completely tired of because every so often he flashes. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. Kobe, I don't care about flashes. No, no, no. I'm saying Kobe, but I'm saying oh, Kobe. Kobe. I don't care about flashes. I don't care. I don't yeah, care no, about no, flashes. But Kobe doesn't flash anymore. Like, oh, well, then fuck fans, him. When he has I a mean, good game, when he has a good game, you're like, yeah, he's not that good. No, I mean, I'm just <laughs> saying, like, no, I'm sorry. It's I'm not. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's it's the weirdest thing, send, so. send, send him to spain i don't care just yeah. get him off my roster get him off my payroll I, it's i struggle it's... well he's a free agent he's also a free agent at the end of this year his, his contract the, <laughs> okay um, okay so now the now then contract. that's a whole different conversation yeah. that's a whole different conversation because then okay you know what if we really want to give people a chance and we really want to try and say look you know what and how, how many this years does Zach have? Year for his chance. This is his. This is his chance. <laughs> I'm so, this is his chance. So fucking dump him for Turner. No, I'm saying this this <laughs> year. This he's got the season. Fuck this season. Rookie year doesn't count. Rookie year doesn't count. No, I'm like, saying, but I'm saying, but like, but I'm, is, but this this is the thing. This is his the thing. Second this, year. This is the thing. With COVID I'm, and all I'm that looking stuff. at. I'm looking at February. What? when the trade deadline is yeah, yeah. but it's I february but right? i mean what i mean yeah, it's, yeah, it's whatever it's february yeah, yeah. so i'm sorry i'm sorry unless this kid february 9th oh might as well call it january brother listen dude you're like tick 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 i don't see you changing my mind He is so he will man, he will is so maddening because you see it. I know, I know, I know, and I, I know. I, have, I hear you. I hear you. I have I have far more hope, and that's what which is. is why that's, which that's is why is. which is why he's the linchpin of the trade value in the first place. Completely, one hundred percent. And you can get Turner now. Turn on now. Turn on now. Turn on now. Turn on, Turn on now. now. And you could resign Turner because you would then own his bird rights, all that good stuff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not that I don't Turn get it. Turn on now. I guess my question is this. Does Turner, does Turner make my team now and next year? Because that's really what you're yes. talking about. So, about two, so, year so, so, does that so. Does hey, hey, so and Vooch, Vooch and not, but, Demar and Zach but, and let's but, hope Lonzo comes back healthy. Well, again, as you've already stated, we're not trading Vooch, but he is yeah. no, I'm he is five. No, but listen to me. Listen to me. Let's not. Well, this 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 year is a shaping of the stone year. But Vooch is a free agent. Now, there's two ways you can look at it. Is he going to be more willing to come back playing playing beside P. Will? Or is he going to be more willing to come back playing against Turner? The other side of that is, let's say that doesn't matter. And Vooch goes someplace else anyway guess what i've got a starting center right here ready to I, go i don't i don't see him leaving you don't so, see I, him I, I leaving no and, and and i couldn't even i know what you're going for and i'm not like completely but, uh, and I'm playing. I'm. I'm. See I'm. I'm looking at both sides of it. 
I would say that Vooch would be in a, especially next year as he's getting older and older and older. Looking at the things that a Miles Turner can give you and can do that you don't have to worry about. Right. Think about it. Think about it, brother. Oh, also, hey, you got somebody else that can play the pick and pop on the other side of the ball. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> the, the, the. The thing is this, the thing is this, is that I'm here, not, and, the, and people, people that know me, people that listen to me, under, like, like, you'll get to learn this about me. I'm not actually that emotionally invested in this. This, like, for me, the way, like, look, like, looking at this, the way my brain works the story is writing itself. I'm sorry, but the dynamics there, the, the, if, if, if you look at, because Turner, Turner is, you talk about like kind of the, the way like people like, like knocks on like a uh, Vooch and things. Um, and I don't know if it's like quite a knock on Turner, but he doesn't get enough credit as a um like a switch defender yeah um he's got incredible footwork and and drive and just like like defense drives his offense like being a like like putting in the effort on the defensive side and just putting it in and it's like oh you fuckers and then that's that's where he gets like off on like on the offensive side because it's the defensive side of the ball that just that just turns his engine and that's the other thing that the bulls are lacking <laughs> like I said, the, 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 I know. the issue that I would have, I, know. I just don't know, in a league of where wings are the thing. Ah, oh, but it's and turning. Yes, I know it, it, um, things are tweaking. But the it's times tweak are turning. Bit, maybe, maybe the, but you see, know, the, but see, but see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You know how the, you know how to answer how the quote unquote times are turning because it's the times be, be, be it football be it football be it basketball the quote unquote times are turning are always dictated and named after the offense. How do you change the narrative? You do it defensively. Then, yeah, I mean, then, then you have, it's, it's always a defensive response that then puts something in place. And then what it is, is you capitalize on how the offense has architected and then how the defense responded to it to then shift how you offensively play go and the then next. take advantage of it. Here's right. the thing. Here's the thing. Turner's the kind of player that can play through the transition. He's, he's, he's as effective of a big man at the perimeter but more importantly, more importantly, people talk about like like the kind of the perimeter side, but especially from like that like that that like that big player. More importantly is um, how capable are you at the switch point? Right. And sure. and Turner's a solid defender at the switch point. His dribble handoff defense is probably one of the best in the league right now. But also, he's very solid um, playing that big man role to help screen off on like dribble handoffs 
and then like receive dribble handoffs and then come off of like top of key and then like he's he's got such a good fluid kind of understanding of the game too which is another thing is that i think i i i, I really think that he has an exceptional basketball iq um um the numbers don't like his assist numbers don't show it but he 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 knows where how to be and Turner? when not how old, old is Turner? i was gonna say let's let's so in my mind i think turner's older than he probably is too 26 I'm thinking okay 26 so in my head i've always oh, it feels like he's been around forever you know what i mean? know like i know he's one of, he's one of those I know. guys like oh man he's been forever he was he's he's, he's, like, he's, he's he was dra he was drafted in 2015 so he's been he's been there for a minute right yeah but he's it's, it's, he's not knocking on door 30. He's, no he's no yeah, yeah. Yeah, no not. he's not he's, he's still not reaching nearly. his prime yeah, i mean it, technically potentially yeah. right he's he still has he you know like you, you start to kind of see that 27 28 kind of yeah. span well, you know so he's he's he's, he's he's starting to he's starting to peek into there you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and you think about him with a ball and a levine and the rosen so what we're gonna do we're gonna table this because one is 5 a.m mm. uh so yeah we're gonna table this we're gonna oh this is not nah, this... <laughs> i think i think i i, I think i turned him I think I turned him. I think I turned him. Somebody, somebody we'll, grab Turner. Somebody we'll, we'll, we'll grab get, Turner. Cause we're going to talk about it. I uh, know. Nah, Cause I mean, because, just, but I'm sorry, but you look, you, it, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Look, you look at the numbers on this dude and it's like, okay, fuck seriously, especially for a center in today's NBA. This dude is pretty freaking solid but then you start to look at some of the other stuff that just doesn't show up in the stat sheets and you start to look at how he moves and where he is and when and things like that and it starts to just kind of play out and you like realize like damn this guy's got something different and then you realize like like he's i mean look he's pumping like granted yeah he's pumping up even more numbers he's like i'm saying like his uh, he's got like career highs right now yeah, dude's he's advertising so, yeah, advertising himself right yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. but consistently though here's the thing indiana has been moving this guy he's been trying to figure out how to move this guy because they're like he like he's especially after they got after they got rid of brogdon mm -hmm. he's the only trade piece they got <laughs> it's true yeah that's it and they're and trying to they reason... know they know he's got value it's not about the fact that he doesn't he's not good this is not one of those moves where we're trying to offload somebody they're trying no, and the re and that's the reason why they've been turning right. down They've been turning down offers, but see that's the way what, they let's, have. Let's get into that on the net on the next yes. uh, stream for sure because that's actually where I think I don't think the Bulls. Even if I was like, you know what, P. Wills, yeah, done these three guys for Turner. That doesn't get it. I don't think that gets it done. I don't even think I, that I, gets I, it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah that's, that's, that's my other problem. Let's, let's not, not, that. that's, let's that for now. It's it's it is another it is another problem. I mean, I'm I've just been thinking about it. Like, if the moves were to happen, Turner mm. fitting in within the Bulls offense and defense and that kind of thing. Fair enough. Yeah. You're right. I don't know if indiana pulls it would take it trigger. would take it yeah because I, you gotta you gotta think of teams like the lakers that they've sort of turned but down see, stuff but like see that. but and see but see this not gonna get it. i was gonna say let's let's talk about that on the next because uh, yeah. because yeah, i've got i've got there. i've got <laughs> i've got i've got an answer i've got an answer to that because this this 
this kind of a trade salary, no no right. no this is the kind of trade from the bull side sure let's talk about the bulls organization this is the preview here from the bulls organization this is where that front office person back office gm whoever sure. right whoever it is that is on the phone with indiana oh son this is where they make their money this is why they're paid what they're paid i'm sorry call me old school but this is where you go to draft like like nfl draft day this is where yeah. you got the conversations you, you coming want. on yeah. like i'm like look i'm sorry do you think i'm sitting here like yanking on my jock strap here yeah no i've got i've got no I, i've got nothing i've got nothing i but i'm telling this guy i've got offers coming in left and right right here i'm telling you i'm telling you right now what i'm giving you you're not gonna get anything better let's make this fucking deal happen right now or i'm hanging up yeah it's that kind of a thing yeah where and i think you almost have to where are those think, guys? I don't think Turner. I don't think Turner gets, is getting dealt before. Uh, whatever is it four? It's usually four, three o'clock. Is it three o'clock? I want to say. Oh, see, and and, 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 and no, as I'm. Far as, uh, it's gonna this. be February 9th. At oh, see now that's oh, I this that's I, I would that's, I I I I I would I would I would love to trade places with whoever it is that is on that phone to get that, that deal done. Cause I guarantee you, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, I would get that deal done. You know what I, no, no, you know, no, 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 no. Um, you know what I would do? Uh, you know what I would do? The other, or the bull side. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on, I'm on the bulls. I'm on the bulls. Okay. I'm on the bulls. I'm on the bulls. You know what I would do? I'd figure out a way to work out some other kind of podunk trade off the back end that would then turn around and then work off a secondary trade with two other teams that then would work out with a final trade that would make fucking Miles Turner my starting power forward. That's what I would do. That's, that's what, what I would saying. do. That's what I would do. I would work out. I would work out some crazy. Ass, we're talking about three, like basically sort of like a three team, but not oh, making it a three team. Oh no! Like it would start with the three team, right? With like another three team. Yeah, that's gonna have be sitting there with all the little strings attached. With another to all three the team. <laughs> I'm seeing Charlie Day. I'm seeing Charlie Day and like the 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 ugly yellow shirt that's way too small for him pointing at the board with the red strings yeah. pointing out to everything but 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 you know what but you know what miles turner would be my starting power forward so we take this draft pick and we send it over there anyhow this is gonna be yeah, i know i know tonight. i know I know. Thank you, everybody, for hopping <laughs> <with> this. <laughs> See, I have to stop it because no, I'm like, you would. Uh, you're, right, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Right. Yeah. Right. Hey, thanks yeah. for everybody has been listening and all this randomness. But you know for what? Sure. What we want to know is what do you think? Yeah. Miles Turner's going somewhere. He's going somewhere. So, what? We want to know is where. Do you do that? Do you do you do this deal? Do you do the deal that Jared proposed, where it's P. Will, Kobe White, and 
dra- uh Okay, so it's cap yeah, fodder. P. Will, P. Williams, Kobe it's Tony White, Bradley, but I'm not giving him his actual. Yeah, just nah, it, it's, it's all, Yeah, it's it's more just because yeah. of the fact that you're you need somebody to play center. It's really sure. why I tossed him in there over. Yeah. Um, I, I the other the on the the other one would that would work was Dale. Oh, sorry, excuse me, Dale and Terry, but you he's like, a rookie. I'm Indi- not sure Indi- who's gonna give him away. But also Indiana, like they they are the problem with, and I think the biggest issue, I'm sorry, the biggest issue that uh, Indiana is having with moving Turner is they don't really have a solid answer at center. Um, outside of Turner, so. That's I'm why I so chose sure Bradley. Are... I'm not saying Bradley's their answer, but it is it, it is at it's least a, a center. In there at least. Right. Sure. Right. And then maybe you can work with him and shape him and be like at least a a, a paint defensive presence, which is kind of what he's leaning to. Fine, fair enough. Right. But right. that's don't that's the reason why I put Bradley in there. Um money wise, it, it's it's negotiable obviously there would be some trade talk here because i mean it's 2022 going on 2023 every trade deal has some kind of pick involvement that's just the way it goes fair enough but money wise this at least works um you could even if i was chicago if I had the opportunity and then they were asking for more, um, Indiana is actually, um, above cap. Yeah. Yeah. So they, if, if I was Chicago and take all money. also wanted to dump some things to help quote unquote sweeten the deal but also let go some of my debt you know and the, you know sure sure and the bulls i will say the bulls don't have a lot of what i would consider dead money it's not it's of course the nfl is really the one with dead money right but dead right. money is bad contracts in the nba they don't really have it they don't have anybody that really stands out when it comes no, to No, no. It's more it's more of the front loaded money that you're mm. not you're 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 not going to let go of for Levine, yeah, DeRozan, Rosen or DeRozan or Rose. Boots so, or ball. It, you're or not ball. you're not you're not doing that. Yeah. Or Caruso, it, quite frankly. Like true, you're not true. You're not true. trading him right no, now. So, no. Yeah. You only next guys are the p wills and kobe's like those exactly are the and guys. exactly that's kind of where i was kind of thinking here trying to find kind of middle money that can put together as like sure. and also looking at the trade is like a two to at minimum a two to one but really you're also getting a three to one and so but we also you're... don't have so as a but we also don't have and again we need to just, we'll, we'll wrap yeah, this up we're gonna bring keep it talking up next yeah, yeah time. i know i know but the, but the bulls don't have uh they don't have all their draft picks either so that's even more reason why guys like p will to a lesser degree kobe but p will specifically it's it's all of their trade assets so right anyhow right hey I um hear the music yeah, thank you everybody that popped on tonight. Everybody that have listened to us talk about this. But hey, you know we're we're curious about these kind of trade scenarios. We're yeah. trying to work this so out as best we can. And this this is one that yeah it 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 hits a little bit closer to home for Ian because we're we're talking about the Bulls. We figured it'd be a great place to start because we know sure. uh, he's he's so invested. Um, there, there's some other teams too that we can talk about. Uh, the Warriors are a clear contender to try and figure out how they would need to shape their future because, as it's constituted, they got old instantly. I believe. Not instantly. They've been around instantly for a couple year. minutes. Instantly this year. So well, instantly this you know, year, we're but the, we're they've the, been you know, the age we're in, man. 
around in the past. Nothing for nothing I don't know what you're a while now and have been winning and it just caught up to them. You anyway, know, they won last year and now this year they're old instantly. But let's, let's not talk about all the other championships they had in the perfect no, season last year. And yeah, 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 you know, that's how yeah, that yeah, works. yeah, 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 that's that's yeah. 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 So there's yeah, there's there's yeah, there's a few teams that we could talk about here. We'd be very curious about your thoughts on how to best shape uh, teams looking to next year and and in the future. And yep. with that. This is getting work. Signing out. Later, fam. Through the highways, till my shadow turns to sunrise.